El Chapo's cash won't be used on Trump's wall so look who showed up with $21 BIL for it overnight. President Donald Trump was recently presented with an incredible surprise of who could be paying for one of his most important and expensive campaign promises when Texas Senator Ted Cruz proposed a bill to use $14 billion seized from notorious drug lord Joaquin El Chapo Guzman. The ingenious and perfectly ironic funding source for this important safety feature was met with as many roadblocks as the idea for the wall itself. As quickly as that idea was shot down, a surprise financier showed up overnight with the approximately $21 billion needed to foot the bill and you won't believe where it came from. The only thing that's been holding America's safety and security back is the ability to fund the 40-foot-tall wall that's expected to stretch approximately 1,000 miles along the U.S.-Mexico border. Although the lengthy construction process is already underway, it could be finished much quicker than originally thought after having solved one of the biggest challenges it has faced to date. Building a big, beautiful wall on the southern border was Trump's signature promise during his campaign, winning him support from advocates for hardline immigration reform, PolitiFact reported. Original estimates for the cost of this project came in at $12 to $15 billion, however, Bernstein Research who calculates total building cost believes it could actually come in somewhere around $15 billion to $25 billion. The Department of Homeland Security agrees, estimating a specific $21.6 billion price tag for this massive project, according to PolitiFact. While that total is in excess of the $14 billion taken from El Chapo upon his arrest, the financing problem could soon be solved if Alabama Senator Luther Strange gets his way. Strange went on Fox News' Tucker Carlson to discuss his idea of where this much-needed wad of cash could come from right now, and it's as ironic as using drug money to pay for it. Those who want immigrants in this country don't seem to have an issue with paying for them to be here, so they should be okay with footing the bill to keep them in their country. Strange explained to Tucker that the funds should come directly from so-called sanctuary cities who don't follow the law. In essence, this would be a fine for going against the president not cooperating with local police, refusing to turn immigrants in, and worst of all, actually preventing people from fairly bidding on the border wall. Sanctuary cities like San Francisco, California punish their citizens for participating in bidding on the construction of the wall by banning them from doing any other work in the city. This is not a democracy, it's a dictatorship decided by liberals and since they aren't stopping, Strange wants them to pay for the wall that's already written into law. The senator's simple solution is that cities who refuse to comply with the nation's law aren't going to get the money that they expect from the government because it's going to go to building the wall. It makes perfect sense to not reward bad behavior with cash that could be used to ensure the rule of law which our nation is built on. Sanctuary cities don't make their own rules and can't expect other people to pay for it when it goes against what the president has already set. Rather than defunding these defiant cities, divert the funding and let their laws be the country's gain. Along this same line of logic that Strange presented, costs of this wall could also be met if America stopped or slowed the flow of funding to Mexico. It only makes sense to use the money being sent over the border for the barrier between us since we are also trying to block Mexican citizens from entering America illegally. This isn't about keeping good people out and prevent people from wanting to seek a better life in the American dream. It's only about preventing those from entering the wrong way and wreaking havoc, compromising citizen safety, and sapping off our resources. If it's important to become a law-abiding American citizen and reap the rewards of living in this country, there's an immigration to follow to prove those intentions. The next best thing to using a drug lord seized money earned from abusing our border is to make sanctuary cities pay for it. They can't make their own laws to harm people and force other people to pay for it too. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.